we have learned how to import our media using the media browser into our project. We have learned how to trim the clip up here in the source monitor, and we have learned how to directly insert onto our timeline. So now our footage is right here on our timeline. And as you can see, you're watching it. You're watching what's on your timeline and right over here where the program monitor is. So if you want to see what the main big shablu is like, your program monitor shows you. Now let's say, for example, you wanted somebody to watch your program monitor, but they're standing behind you and they probably can't see this tiny little screen. What you would do is you'd click on your program monitor and you go to window, maximize frame, and bow, now your program monitor is large so you can preview it in a large format so that way you don't always have to be having somebody crouch over your shoulder and look very closely at what it is you're doing. So if you wanna restore it, you go back to window, restore frame size, and now you're back small again. That's something I'm gonna show you how to do but it's just something that I want you to remind you because it is a question, it is something that you wanna know how to do for yourself. If you wanted to know, hey, this little girl is in the back here, I can't really see what she's doing, let me make sure I can really see. You click on your source monitor, window, maximize frame, and then now I can see everything nice and big. Be like, okay, so that girl, she's not having a problem, whatever, restore frame size, and we're good to go. So that is a very useful tool for you. Now, as you can see down here on your timeline, it is extremely small. It's hard to manipulate these tiny little uh, video clips. How do I make that bigger? What you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your toolbar right here. Right now we're in the selection tool and we're gonna click on the bottom, the zoom tool. Once we click on the zoom tool, right here you'll see a little plus and you can make that larger so you can see a lot more closely what it is you have on your timeline. So if you're, that works for if you're adding transitions, if you're manipulating audio, and so on and so forth. So you can make it as big as possible if you're gonna get really nitty gritty, or if you decide you wanted to zoom out a little bit, you can go ahead and um, zoom out the same way and see it a little better.